All right, guys, so real quick before I get into the video. Um, yesterday, I uploaded a trick, and I had my girlfriend in it as a spectator, and all you can see in my videos are hands. So the whole, like, the whole idea of the, of the joke was that, like, I was using so much clickbait for literally just hands in the video. So, like, I thought maybe you guys would kind of catch on to the sarcasm, but I realized afterwards that, like, you really don't know me. Um, for being funny, so it's like you guys most likely thought I was being serious, but I tried to put so much, you know, clickbait into the title that you guys would think that there's no possible way I could, you know, be serious. So, just kind of clearing that up. I saw a lot of you like thought I was being serious, so just clearing that up now. Um, anyway, so today what I'm gonna be doing is going over, uh, kind of redoing my spring tutorial because I taught it before. Um, in a method where I had my finger at the bottom of the deck like this and my four fingers up top springing the cards outward but I I realized that it is so much better to actually spring the cards uh, from the corners I kind of came across that and it just comes across so much cleaner than springing the cards um, you know using this method this, it sounds better um, it looks nicer so I'll be teaching you guys this method and uh, anyways, guys, here is uh, the tutorial. All right, so this move is definitely going to take a lot of practice. It looks simple. Um, there's really only one thing going on, but in reality, there's um, a lot of different things that are kind of happening with like the way you're aiming, the way how much pressure you're putting. So it's all, um, it's gonna take time getting used to, so don't get discouraged if you're not gonna get it the first time. So I'm gonna go into the grip first of all and kind of like show you what's happening. So like I said, I previously taught it with my thumb at the bottom, but I've learned that it's a lot better to grip the cards from the corners. So if you're right-handed, you're going to put your right thumb in the bottom left corner and your middle finger up here is going to be gripping the top. And so when I'm in position, it's gonna look like that. So I have my two fingers, my ring and my pinky. Those are just kind of off to the side. And then my index is up here for stability, but a lot of the deck is being held mainly with uh, my middle and my thumb. And as you can see, I'm gripping them so this very bottom card here, you can see the edge of my thumb. You want to have a grip where the edge of the card, the edge of the bottom card, should feel like it's about to shoot out, but it just hasn't broke that tension point. So you want to kind of place it right at the edge so you can see it's very close to the edge of my fingertips. And now what's happening is when you're applying pressure and bending it, you can see that that corner of the card is about to just slip out. And I'll try to get it right here as you can see, it just kind of the tension releases, you apply more pressure. And what happens is, is the cards are going to break tension and shoot out. When you're actually applying the pressure, don't worry about bending the deck, okay? You guys might be scared that if you're bending it too much, you know, you might mess it up. But with one riffle shuffle, it's going to go back to normal, so don't really worry about that. Uh, the whole thing here is what's going on with your hands is I'm going to show you without the deck what I'm doing uh, with my right hand. So essentially when I'm gripping the cards, they're going to look like this when they come away. But as I'm shooting them out, I'm applying downward pressure, but also opening up my fingers. So basically, they're going to look like this. So I'm just stretching my two fingers out, and they're kind of just shooting off my thumb. So as you can see, they kind of go backward a little bit, so they shoot to the bottom left. Um, and the more, and if you shoot them off both fingers at the same time, they're going to go more straight. It just depends on what you're kind of aiming for. So if you shoot them off, okay, you look at my thumb. As you can see, there's like a bend in the joint here but at the end, it should be straight. So as you can see, I'm slowly just straightening out my thumb, and by the end, you can see my thumb is straightened out like that. So essentially what's happening is all that tension is bending in the cards, and when the tension shoots off, you just wanna make uh, less space between the card and the edge of your finger. So as you can see, the cards here is at the edge right there, about to just shoot, fly off. But if I hold it, just bending it, cards aren't really gonna shoot out as much as they would if I were to open it up and stretch it forward like that. So that's the biggest key, I would say, is to apply a lot of pressure. So you're applying a strong amount of pressure, and then once you have this tight grip where the cards are bent like this, all you have to do is just open up that thumb. So your thumb is coming in and stretching. So these, this thumb is just applying pressure, going in more, and opening up. And now the second part is just catching the cards. So I would recommend you just practice shooting the cards downward on a table because you're not going to be able to catch them the first time. So I would say practice just using one hand and going as close as you can to a table or something. Just kind of shooting it down to the ground. 
in looking for that for that uh, for a flow when you're shooting the cards down okay because these cards are gonna go everywhere the first time and once you kind of have that down and once you have a nice flow with your cards and it's going continuously then you can work on catching them so now when you go to catch the cards it's gonna take some practice uh, where you move your hand but essentially your left hand or your non-dominant hand is gonna be open and kind of relaxed and as you can see I'm just shooting it and it's open kind of cradling the cards and it's a wide grip and I don't recommend ever trying to close your hand as you're uh, springing them so never try to shoot them all out and then catch it like that because um, what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up shooting the cards and you might end up closing them too soon and you're gonna end up with something like this so once you get to the stage where your flow is continuous then you can work on catching them so I recommend going top down not necessarily going side to side just yet work on going top down and you're going to figure out the angle at which you need to put your hand so if you feel like the cards are shooting back too far like this then you can work on tilting your hand upward as well so if you feel like your cards are shooting too far back just tilt your hand more upwards and they'll fly more in the position you want them to and you're aiming for the cards to end up like this so as you can see I have the card basically almost, um, I would say not necessarily a mechanics grip, but you're just kind of, it's kind of like a cradle. So you have the cards grip with your thumb on the left side, your index at the top, and these fingers are kind of just grasping it. And it's a very relaxed grip. My hand is not tense at all. I'm not necessarily straining it. It's just nice and relaxed holding the cards. Because the more you tense, uh, the more possibilities there are for cards bouncing off or something. So it's nice and relaxed, just kind of catching those cards like that. And once you keep springing them, you are going to have, like I said, that bend. All you have to do is give the deck a riffle shuffle, pull it back, and you should be in the same position as you were before. And another tip as well, you do, you do need the deck to be uh, very squared up. So if your deck looks something like this, and you try doing a riffle or a spring with the cards looking all choppy like that, it's really not going to work. So you need to make sure your hands are clean and the deck is going to be squared up and that's going to make it look just so much better. So I hope this video uh, works out for you guys. If there's any more questions, put it down in the comments below. Um, like I said before, guys, I had to make, I felt like I had to make a redo video just because in the other one I taught it just like this and I just did not think that's a, that's a suitable, me uh, suitable method. So make sure to practice and if you need more help, guys, go back in the video and like I said in the comments, I'll try to respond. As always, guys, thanks for watching.